Today, we are gonna be burning it up and torching calories, also getting our strength on and activating our deep core with this 2010-5 cardio build workout. This is gonna be a full body workout. We're gonna start with 20 minutes of full body cardio where we are gonna be moving and grooving, bringing our own spice and our own personality. Then we're gonna move into some slow and intentional strength exercises that are gonna strengthen your entire body. And then we're gonna move it down on the mat and get into that deep core that's gonna help stabilize and tighten our core so that we're getting our best results using all methods. Thank you for joining me for this workout. We are gonna crush this today and I'm gonna be with you every step of the way. Let's do this. Are you ready to crush this? Let's start right here. Tap your heel, lift your arm up. This workout is gonna go by so fast. Just follow along and enjoy every movement. We're gonna be engaging our entire body with these exercises that we are warming up with, preparing ourselves for this cardio portion of our workout, our 20 minutes of cardio. Let's sidestep. And then let's add the arms. There you go. Getting everything warm. We're starting strong. Okay, now I want you to go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Let's punch down. Good job. Add your own style, your own pace. I like to stay on the beat, but take it as you may. And let's keep going. Walk it out. I have a feeling this one's gonna be sweaty, but it's gonna feel so good. We are gonna be activating our core, our arms, our legs, every muscle in our body if we can. So let's focus and let's give it our best. Bring your knee up and punch. Feel that twist through your midsection. And make sure you're breathing. Great job. Give a little bit more power with your arms. Good, walk it out. Next exercise that we got, we're gonna step out. Our arms are gonna be making large circles and we're gonna end up in a squat. And we're gonna alternate sides. It's gonna look a little funny, but it's gonna get us really activating our glutes, our core, and using our arms spread wide. Practice that confidence. Let's go. Big circles with the arms, as exaggerated as you can. Great job. Get low in that squat if you can. Good job. Keep going. Make sure you breathe. Walk it out. Right, it's about time we have a little fun with it. We're gonna graduate in our squat, going up and down, and then we're gonna add some of our spice. Ready? It's like a little dance move. Go higher, go lower, go lower. You got this, 
Uh-huh. Woo! Keep it up. Walk it out. See, that was a little fun. Practice bringing your own style, your own moves, your own swag. Build confidence right here with me. It's not about looking perfect. It's not about doing the moves perfectly. It's about showing up, giving your best, and bringing your own unique twist to it. Okay. Keep stepping and clap, 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 clap. Let's switch directions. And switch again. Good job. Bring your knees up a little bit higher. Give me that enthusiasm. Let's make every step count. Nice deep breaths. We're keeping our heart rate up here with these cardio moves. Okay, want you to reach, reach, and punch out. One, two, three, four, reach. Reach, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. Reach, reach. One, two, three, four. Nice. Keep those feet moving. Let's go. Okay, next move. We're gonna add a little bit of, a little bit more spice. We're gonna go one, two, one, two. Let's go. One, two, one, two. Pump it out. Pump it out. Pump it out. Come on, we're here to have fun. Come on, don't kill the vibe. Keep that energy up. Yes, keep breathing, keep pushing. Yes. Walk it out. Nice, that looked good. Don't stop with that enthusiasm. We need that the entire way through. Keep walking, keep breathing, keep pushing. We're in it. We're right here together. Making every movement count. Okay, let's do that out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Okay, we're gonna take it up a notch. Show me that speed, that fire under your feet. Let's go. Use your arms. Yes. Nice and light on your toes. Nice. Bring your knees up. Okay, let's play with some depth now. We've spent enough time up here. Let's get down low. Are you enjoying yourself? I sure am. Squat and stand up. Squat and stand up. You're gonna pump down twice. Stay on one side. We're working one side at a time. Really plant that stationary leg and dig deep. Good. 
That's it. Oh, this one's getting my heart rate up, up, up. Keep going. You already know what it is. We're gonna do the other side. And make sure you catch your breath right now. Prepare yourself, because you already know what's coming. Deep breath. And out. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's do this. Get down low. How low can you go? Get down deep. Come on, it's up to you to bring the heat. You can't depend on me to just get you there. You gotta meet me halfway. Come on, get lower. Give me more enthusiasm. Good. I know you're a real one. When you hear me, and you're like, okay, Joe, I'll give you some more. Come on, keep it up. Okay, let's kick it out. And at the top, we're gonna be activating our chest and our back by doing large C shapes, okay? So we're gonna kick out. Just like that. Kick with some power, but also maintain that control. And you can do that by stabilizing right down through the core pushing your belly button in to your back. Remember, you can take this at your own pace. No need to rush it. Walk it out. Okay, the next one I'm gonna show you two variations of. First one is gonna be low impact. Second one is higher impact. You choose your path. This is low impact. This is high impact. Okay, you choose. Let's go. My low impactors. <laughs> My high impactors. I don't know if that's a word, but we just made it up. Impactors, come on. Great job. We're taking this challenge together. Remember, you're not alone. I'm here with you, doing this with you, struggling with you, pushing with you. We're in this together. Leave no man behind. That means you can't leave me behind. Let's keep going. Okay, act like you're at a party. We're gonna clap because they told us to clap. Bring your knee up, engage your core. Come on, a little bit more. Bring your knee up higher. Bring your arms together faster. Come on, there's always a way to modify it to make it harder or easier. Get creative. Great job. Back it out. All right. Once again, we are at a, we are at a party. We're gonna get our clapping hands out. This time, it's gonna be around the world. We've already done this once. Let's give a little bit more enthusiasm this time. Let's go. Even get low. Okay, don't be afraid if you look silly. Other way.
Three to practice. <laughs> Keep going. Other way. Walk it out. Okay, let's pretend like we're in the mosh pit. We wanna make sure that we can breathe, okay? So we're gonna pop up with a punch. Squat down and pop up. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. Squat, pop, squat, pop, squat, pop, squat, pop. Get lower if you can. If you're not down for the squat, stay right here. Great job. Nice. Woo, it's getting hot in here. Or is that just me? Where are you at? How you feeling? Check in with yourself. We're almost through the cardio portion of this workout. Snaps for you. Snap for us. <laughs> okay, let's get low and sway side to side like we're avoiding something. Ready? What are we dodging? Huh? What are we dodging today? You tell me. You give me ideas. What are we dodging today? Get out of the way. Get lower. Nice. I'm getting hot. I'm getting sweaty. I'm getting hot. Starting to feel that exhaustion coming in, but we're not quite exhausted because we're not quite there. Let's keep giving it our best. We're almost at our water break. And then we're gonna slow it down a bit with this strength. So I hope you have your dumbbells ready because we are gonna crush the strength too. And then go straight into deep core. Come on, pull back. You should feel it in your shoulders. You should feel it in your back. And you're using your hamstrings right now to curl your foot right up to your butt. That's it. Walk it out. Woo. Come on, lift those knees up a little bit more. We're almost there. Bring your legs out wide. We're gonna lunge to one side and reach over. Lunge and reach. Rainbow arms in between. Really push into that heel on either side. Use your core to stabilize and keep your chest up. That's it for our cardio portion. We're gonna walk it out, release any tension that may have built up during that cardio portion. Check it out. Release, release your neck, release your shoulders, release your arms, release your waist, release your legs. And now let's grab some water. Now that we finished this cardio portion and we crushed those moves, I saw your personality, we got it in together. We are gonna pick up those weights. We are gonna be slow and intentional with each of these movements so that we get the most of each exercise and we stay protected by our form. This portion of the workout is gonna get even more sweaty even though we're slowing things down. So be prepared, rehydrate, and let's keep going. 
You ladies are doing a great job. You are crushing this portion. The cardio portion we just finished. And now we're gonna move on to weights. Catch your breath. I have some heavy weights here. I have some 10 pound weights. So for this first exercise, if you have two smaller weights, use both of them. If you have a bigger weight, just use one. You're gonna put your hands under the dumbbells like you're holding a cup. The way that we rem remembered this when I was studying kinesiology is supinated, which is the term for it, supinated. It's like you're holding a cup of soup. So your arms are facing upward. Your hands are like you're holding a cup. Rest. Let's grab that second weight. Next exercise, we're gonna push our hips back into a squat. And then when our, sh our hands are right here, when we come up to standing, we're gonna press, thrust the weights upward. Squat back, press up. Slowly bring them back down to your shoulders, squat down and press up. The squat and the press have the most power out of this exercise. And the rest is nice and slow. We're breathing out as we press up and then in as we come back. Keep your chest up. Great job. We're gonna use one weight now. Set it down by your feet. We're gonna start by working the right side. So put the weight on your left side. You're gonna spread your legs just outside of your hips. You're gonna reach down, pull up and press. Make sure you're going back across your body when you come back down. We're almost doing like a diagonal across our body, then pressing up. You can have your other hand on your hip if you want, or out here. Good job. Focus. That's it. Okay. Bring that dumbbell to the other side to prepare. Deep breaths. Don't forget that your breath is a very powerful tool for both form and endurance. Grab it, cross your body, press up. Feels comfortable for me to put my hand on my hip on this side, so that is what I will do. Pull up, press up. Pull up, press up. Nice and slow on the way back, honey. You're doing great. Remember, practice doesn't always make perfect, but it most definitely makes progress. So if you can't get it right now, you can't get it today, remember, practice is what makes the progress, not just quitting, okay? Next exercise we have is a deadlift, and then we're gonna go straight into a squat. So you're gonna keep your chest up, core activated, press your hips back, slide the weights down your legs, stand up, rack these on your shoulders, push your hips back into a squat, and stand, put them down, push those hips back, come back up, rack them on your shoulders, squat and stand. 
Take it as slow as you need to go. There's no rush. Focus. Great job. All right. This next exercise right here, we are gonna put our legs nice and wide into what I call a sumo stance. Put your toes out. You're gonna sit into the squat right here. We're gonna hold it in this squat. As hard as that may be, we're gonna do our best. And you're gonna, if you want to, elevate it a little bit more. Press through your toe on each side, your toes. And lift that heel off of the ground. Keep that core nice and tight so you're staying in one position right here. Great job to those of you who are holding it without the heel lift. And great job to those of you who are using this heel lift to bring it up a notch. Great job. Stand up. Ooh, it's sweaty. It's hot in here. Ooh. All right. We are going to grab those weights again, both of them. We're gonna bend over and do a double row, bending at the hips, pressing them back. One, two, stand up and pull up with your shoulders, letting your elbows be the highest point. Row, squeezing your back, stand up and pull high. Double row, one, two, stand up. High pull with the elbows at the top. There you go. Bend forward, push your hips back. Let's finish this double high row. Good job. Okay, let's grab one of those weights if you have a heavier set of weights. If you have a lighter set of weights, you can keep both and just rack them like this. I'm gonna put this one on my shoulders and we're gonna practice pressing our hips back into an exercise called good morning. Press your hips back, your chest stays elevated, your core is engaged. You press through your heels and squeeze your glutes at the top. Now you don't have to hyperextend with your squeeze like this. You can be in a squeeze right here. Squeezing your cheeks together. Right here, squeeze. Think about those muscles that are working. Think about the power that comes from your legs, your largest muscle group in your body. Squeeze, good job. Okay, wipe your sweat. We're almost there. We are almost there, honey. If you have a uh, double set of weights, again, you can use both, but I'm gonna be alternating with my heavier set. Okay, press out and up. Bring it down to your shoulder. I'm gonna reach over here and do the other side. Keep your core engaged. As you bring the weight away from your body, it's gonna be harder and harder to engage that core and to keep your body still. Again, this comes with practice. Engaging that core and using it as the best stabilization tool. Good. Whew. All right, with this last exercise, we're gonna grab both of our weights. No matter what weight you have, your legs are gonna go out wide, just like so. We're gonna lunge to one side and press up. Lunge to the other side, press up. If this 10 pounds in each hand is feeling a little challenging for you, like it is for me, grab one and press up. Remember, there is always a way to modify 
when you're struggling. Maybe do half of the move. Maybe lessen the weight. Maybe do half the range of motion. Customize it to you, and the stronger, stronger you will get. Okay, rest. Put your weights down. Whew. Wow, that really was a full body burn with those weights. Grab your water. Great job, put those weights down. And now we are gonna be moving down onto our mats to activate our deep core. Our deep core includes those deep muscles that are gonna tighten up, whether we have diastasis recti or we just struggle with engaging our core. These exercises are gonna help you tremendously. We're gonna focus on your breath work and we're gonna do this together. Let's finish strong. You're doing such a great job right now. We're gonna transition now from our strength portion to our deep core portion. We checked strength, sorry, we checked cardio, we checked strength, and now it's time for us to finish strong with these deep core exercises. Let's meet on the mat. Get yourself a little more comfortable. And prepare. Maybe you're breathing deep, practicing that activation even before we go into the moves. Come with me down here to your elbows. You're gonna bring both your legs to tabletop, and then you're gonna lower one and lift it. Lower and lift. Try to bring your shoulders away from your ears. And what you're doing and thinking about during this exercise is pushing your belly button into your back and lifting your pelvic floor. There we go. Stay right here or bring it down. If you want to continue this strength, keep your legs in tabletop right here. We're going to do the other side. Remember to take it at your own pace. Do not go faster than you need to. Focus on what matters the most, which is your core engagement. Push that belly button into your spine. Let's lower your leg and bring it up. You're also gonna tense up your pelvic floor muscles. It's like a squeeze right through the lower portion of your abs. Remember to keep those shoulders away from your ears. Remember, if you can't do this, it's okay to stay right here. Good job. You can stay right here or bring your feet down. Next, we're gonna transition over onto our hands and knees. Meet me right here. And right now we're gonna practice our deep core breathing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna breathe in and you're gonna expand your stomach. Breathe out, push all the air out. Do it again. Breathe in, expand your stomach. And as you breathe out this time, breathe out forcefully and press your belly button into your back. Lift up through your pelvic floor. Keep that tight right here. Stay right here. And release. Breathe in, expand your stomach. And let's do it one more time. Breathe out. Hold it right here. and release. Keep breathing. We're gonna do that one more time. And now we're just gonna add a little portion on to make it a little bit more challenging. When we forcefully breathe out, we are gonna tap our hands to our shoulders. Breathe in, expand your stomach. Breathe out forcefully, press your belly button into your back and lift your pelvic floor. Stay right here. And release. Breathe in, expand your belly. Breathe out. One more time, breathe in, expand your belly. 
Breathe out and hold. And release. Take some nice deep breaths. Great job. Whenever you feel like you're struggling with your deep core and engaging those muscles, come back to that exercise. Practice your breathing while engaging your core. Now bring your hips all the way down to the mat. Keep your, out, your shoulders away from your ears. Lift up all the way through your center and you should feel a stretch right through your core. Come back, press your hips back. Stretch out your shoulders. And we're gonna slowly move it up. Come high on your knees. And we're gonna breathe to finish it. One more deep breath. Slowly stand with me and congratulate yourself. We finished this full body burn. I'm so proud of you. Great job, you made it all the way through this workout. We crushed it, we brought our own personality, we worked on intention, and we also worked on our breath work. And I'm so proud of you for pushing through and striving for progress, not perfection. If you're finishing this challenge with me, tomorrow is a rest day. I want you to take that rest day and really think about the progress that you've made and how consistent you've become. I'm Grow With Joe, and I just finished the 2010-5 Method.